Okay, so I just went out and ran an errand, and I came back, and now when I go to uh, automatedwebdesign.com and try and load it, uh, it's timing out. It's no longer going server or, or domain name not found. So what that tells me is that you know it, it, actually, it actually has propagated already, and it's only been probably half an hour or so. So back at my DreamHost dashboard here, under the domains, you can click Manage Domains. And that shows you all your domains. I mean, I've got a ton here. Um, I've got a bunch that still don't have hosting, but and as you can see, automatedwebdesign.com um, needs some hosting. And when you register through DreamHost, you don't have to set anything up. All you need to do is go into your, your domain manager here and click Add Hosting. And that takes you to a page where um, you can specify the type of hosting. So you can either do what's called full hosting, um, which hosts the site entirely on DreamHost, or you can do something called Google Hosted, which Google has some, some simple website capabilities, website hosting capabilities, and, and so you can, you can do it that way. Um, or you can do other things. There's some more advanced topics. Um, redirect, that would just redirect this particular domain to another domain. Mirrored, what that does is it just clones uh, a, a particular site. And parked, what that means is um, it's just parked at Do uh, DreamHost, so you're basically not going to use the site for anything. You're just parking it, and you see a generic DreamHost web page. What we want to do is fully host this domain. So domain to host, automatedwebdesign.com. Do you want www in your URL? I always say, um, I, well, I generally say add www. So if somebody goes to automatedwebdesign.com instead of www.automatedwebdesign.com, DreamHost will actually redirect that person to www.automatedwebdesign.com. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, it's it's up to your it's your own preference, but but this is what I I, I do. You could also also click remove www, which would do the reverse. So if anybody went to www.automatedwebdesign.com or or whatever your domain is, uh, DreamHost would redirect it to the same site without the www dot prefix. Next thing you want to do is set up a user to run the domain under. Um, I have a number of users that I run the domain under, but what I find is that it's just easiest sometimes just to pick your own user ID, and that's the user ID that you chose when you originally set up your account. And this um, will let you FTP into your website under that name. Um, it will also let you log into uh, your, your MySQL database. And these are all some advanced topics. From your perspective, I don't even think you will really need to necessarily uh, know that, on, uh, or you'll only need to know that when you upload your, your theme, which we'll do in Artistier. The rest of the items, I think you can just leave as are, as is. And DreamHost has, doesn't provide their own email service, so what they use is, is Gmail to do that. So if you want to, emails to be sent to your new domain, then um, you would go through Gmail. This, this is not going to actually uh, give you details how to set that up, but you can do that. So just to confirm that we are, in fact, an actual person. They yeah, DreamHost wants us to fill in this CAPTCHA, which I can never actually read. I V A U. That looks about right. So over. Oh, Devo. So fully host this domain. Okay. So success. Automatedwebdesign.com has been added to our hosting system. Important. You need to register Google Apps for your domain and configure your mailboxes. I'm not actually going to do that in this tutorial. I just want to give you an up uh, tutorial to up, get a site up and running. Um, there's actually a lot of detail when you actually, if you were to actually click this and get your email set up, there's a lot of detail actually how to do that. Uh, also, automatedwebdesign.com must be using our name servers. Well, you re since we registered through DreamHost, the name servers will already be set up. 
So that's that. Uh, as you can see here, automatedwebdesign.com has been successfully registered. So if we were to go to automatedwebdesign.com now, let's just do that, go to the end, press enter. It may take a few minutes to actually get this going. But like I said, you know, you may get a message telling you that it may take a day or, or hours. What I find usually, you know, it only takes minutes to get, get this going. All right, well, let, let's assume that that will get set up for us in the next few minutes. And we'll just continue on now to uh, the installation of um, WordPress on their site. So I'm going to continue on. It'll be the next video. Uh, so skip.